2012 Lincoln MKZ. We took it for a ride. Pretty cool car, hybrid. Electric up to 47 miles an hour. And then gas if you're going faster than that. Pretty peppy too when you step on the gas. There's a little bit of a lag. But once you get past the lag, it gets up and goes. Uh, you get good gas mileage with it or terrible gas mileage, depending on how you put your foot down. Lots of room for a reasonably tall kid in the back. Really good functional four-door family sedan kind of thing. And they told me it's around $35,000. In hybrid mode. It's class two years running by JD Power Associates. It's not just luxury. That is the Lincoln MKZ. Take it for a ride. You go up to 47 miles an hour in electric mode. Oh, okay. But uh, if you go over 2800 RPM, which doesn't show on here, but once you do, it kicks into the 192 horsepower uh, independent four cylinder. Okay. And um, I assume I'm following some kind of cone route. Uh, no, actually, you're going to be doing a uh, an open route. So. You're gonna go down this way and make a U-turn as soon as you can. Okay. See nobody behind me? Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, that's cool. And the air conditioner just got cold. Yep. So where do I, do I want to sneak through these cones? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Whatever you want to do, so sure. Oh, I get the driving sense. Gives you a little clear material. Mm -hmm. All right, and then U-turn? Yep. All right. Can I roll down the window? Uh, yeah, there should be a window hatch there. It's starting to cool off. But the air conditioning doesn't work when you're sitting still. No. Uh, yeah, it does, but you just gotta be on. That's all. The car's gotta be on. Let's see if I can get it. See, I can change the cabin temperature here, Charlie. So, for instance, your dad's got 60. I can be at 60. So it'll cool off the cabin. Yeah. Right, so we're chugging along in electric mode. Yep. So good. Now, which way am I going? Straight? Straight. We go down to Union and make a left. Alright. The air conditioning is loud. <laughs> yeah, well that's because also you're not using uh, the engine, so, you know. Well that's true, normally there's a lot of ambient noise in the car. Yeah. And it slows itself down too, it's just, I've, I've brought it, I, it needs to go up to, you know, or it needs to drop by close to 20 degrees from what it was before, so it's going to go hard. Actually, is that motor or is that electric? Uh, that right there was motor. You can actually see, see where the abs and the RPM level is Oh, right yeah. There? That changes to F. See, now it's in green again. Um, when you get done here, I'm getting the right lane right now. Okay, here you go. Go straight. Okay, so then if I stop on it, uh -huh. then there's whoa, power. But then, you're about to drop right back into electric. Yep, back to it. So you never really tell when it's going to happen. It's a controlled variable transmission. That's cool. It's smooth. Yeah, very. Next light is where you would go. All right. I don't want anybody crashing into your car. We don't want to buy it today. <laughs> Especially with a big dent in it. Yeah. Well, it's on fire or upside yeah. down. Yeah. So left turn on the union. Alright. So you guys doing any shopping here or just recreational driving? Well, I wanted to try the, the new Ford. Um, you guys have a, a pure electric vehicle there that was really uh, cool. the, Well, the, uh, the Focus. Yeah. The Focuses are pure electric. I don't know if it's... Uh, I think it's still a year away from being released. Aha. Especially for test drive and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the 2013 electric that gets released. That explains why it's not out here. That's, yeah. that's what, that, there's a company called Coda that has cars there. I don't know if they're actually dealing yet, but they had a really neat looking electric car too. I just wanted to try a, a, uh, that plate. That plate? Okay. Yeah, try no, a, I, a real world electric car. You know? Well, you know, they have the Mitsubishi one. Okay, are you available? They have the, uh, the Mitsubishi one, and of course there's the uh, 
the all electric if I'm not mistaken, the plug in version of the Prius is uh, available for test drive as well. Yeah, right now we're just, you know, perfecting our, uh, our hybrid technology. It's taken eight years, but we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm thinking the batteries are catching up too now. Yeah, they are. And they're going to be something. ionized at some point too, which means they're going to have more cells, it's going to be more stable, and it's going to be cheaper to, cheaper to operate. You know, when you have to replace them, even though these are rated at 10 years or 100,000 miles for well, battery. Right, because if you have 100 cells and 10 of them fail, that's different than having two cells and one of them fails. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is the clock right on this car? 1146, right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe it is. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good to get to our data.